Hello, friends. I'm gonna chunk this thing up. I am starting in it early though. So I'm starting in it in October, 2022 instead of 2023. So um, you will see, I have to cover the Thursday and make it Wednesday to have the dates be correct. But that's okay. Oh, sorry for my on. Oh my gosh. Have y'all read The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey? I don't know if y'all have ever read that, that book, but I've been reminding myself of a lot of those principles and just the number one reminder was be proactive. And okay, I know there's no blue on this washi tape, but the, the gingham is so cute with that. Um, hold on, let's, let's figure out our life with the washi tape. Yeah, let's use the yellow, cause that's super cute. Um, okay, I have been reminding myself of those principles. If you don't have the book, you can go on YouTube and watch uh, Stephen Covey speaking about his book. There's quite a few videos online. And um, I don't know, I, I know it's old school, but I just think sometimes that the basic advice is still the best. I mean, um, basically what his books, especially that one, have reminders of is if you're not proactive, you're not going to reach any goal and you're not going to grow. If you're always reactive, then you're always coming from a place of emotion instead of a place of logic and goal setting. And that's definitely where I've been this year in 2022. It's the way that we react to things that's really going to define if a bad situation makes or breaks us as people. Um, and it doesn't mean that you can't ever have an emotional response to something. I. I'm a very loyal and passionate person. Um, so that is something that I constantly have to work on is taking things with a grain of salt and remaining positive when there's a bad situation. And I actually think I've been able to do that a lot this year. Um, and I've had to make some hard decisions this year, but <laughs> I was hopeful as the year went on, it, you know, it would get easier, but it's not. <laughs> if anything, um, the decisions that I'm having to make are just getting harder. I liked how I had on these pages um, the side like that. Maybe that today I'm gonna do my days of the week this way and then have my to-do list. I think that might actually be super cute. Oh my gosh, this makes me so happy because I like to be unique and I don't really see other people putting their days of the week in their checklist right there. Like, and I just think it looks cool. It doesn't take up as much space on the page. I think this is gonna be my new thing. This, and my lettering is getting better every day. Also, it makes it where I have a line to write the day on automatically. So that's awesome. Um, okay, so on my to-do list, I wanna do some dots. That's cute. I, I don't see anybody else doing this. And I love to just be a little different and unique. It's a work in progress, y'all. But for this moment in time, we're gonna put the journaling lines down here. Since there has been a lot going on with me emotionally, it has been helping my anxiety to journal. Um, also, I have been watching some really weird, freaky movies. 
Um, on the next page, I'm gonna use the Island Coral to make it look a little different. Um, I watched that movie, Hereditary. These movies are a little bit older. And then I also watched um, Midsummer because I like psychological thrillers, but man, both of those movies, and I'm pretty sure it's the same director that did Mother and possibly this new one that's out that's um, kind of like Stepford Wives. Now I can't remember the name, but you guys know what I mean. Oh, something about Darling. Something Darling. Anyway, um, I feel like... The movies try to be deep, but they're missing something to me. It's definitely like slow burn, but it's definitely um, graphic with some like shocking things going on. I'm gonna put some dots across with the marker side of the salmon. Anyway, you guys tell me what movies have y'all been watching so far in October. Um, I also watched Beetlejuice because Beetlejuice is one of my favorite movies of all time. When I was a kid, I would literally watch it as much as humanly possible. Mm. I also want to watch Legend again because that was another one that as a kid I was obsessed with. Same with Labyrinth. Labyrinth is on Netflix right now and that's one of my favorite movies of all time. Okay, let's go with the lettering I'm gonna put today. I feel like my lettering is getting better and better. I'm really happy with these um, hard tip food and escape. I can tell why everyone says that that's one of their favorite brush pens because it's so beginner friendly. Okay, there we go. Not too shabby. have enjoyed this plan with me. I think it turned out so cute. This washi came from, before I forget again, Pen Paling Paula. This one did. This one was in like a washi tube from Joanne's. And I think, I'm pretty sure it was Heidi Swap washi. Don't remember though. But um, yeah, this one is so cute with the little gourds and the pink pumpkins. I think it turned out adorable. I'm definitely gonna keep up with writing my days of the week and my schedule um, right here in the journaling at the bottom. The rest might be a little bit of a work in progress or change day by day, but um, I really am enjoying how the page turned out. And I hope that y'all are gonna have a great week. Um, happy Monday to you, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.